Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at multiplication of fractions. Now, with multiplication of fractions, um, what we gen generally tend to do is multiply the numerators together and then multiply the denominators together. So if you look at question number A, what we're going to be doing is 3 times 2 for the numerator, 5 times 7 for the denominator, and we're going to end up with 6 over 35 for question A. So moving on to question B, 4 times 2 for the numerator, 5 times 3 for the denominator, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 3 is 15, and we're pretty much done with question B. Now question C, we've got, um, again, same thing, 3 times 2 divided by 4 times 7, so 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 7 is 28. Now at this point, what you can do is you can actually simplify this uh, further, and we can kind of start with the easiest one. You know, if we've got two even numbers, so we're going to divide both of the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 28 divided by 2 is 14. And pretty much after this point, you can't really go any further for this particular fraction. So we're going to leave it as it is. Now, if you look at it in the calculator, uh, and I'm particularly looking at the uh, second question there. If I go 3 quarters multiplied by 2 sevenths, in the calculator, it always gives the simplified version of the answer. Now, if you write 6 over 28, while there's nothing really wrong with it, but as you start going up um, different levels of um, your maths education, you really want to make sure that you know how to simplify those fractions into uh, the lowest form possible. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing really more to multiplication of fractions, uh, just that you've got to multiply um, numerators with numerators and denominators with denominators. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll throw one other question, and I know sometimes people go, well, what about this one here? So let's say we got something like 7 over 9 multiplied by 3. So in this case, remember that the numerator has actually got a 3, so this would just be 7 times 3 divided by 9, which is equal to 21 over 9. And once again, you can kind of see with 21 over 9, um, they do have 3 as a common factor. So 21 divided by 3 is 7, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And of course, you could leave it as a um, mixed fraction or an improper fraction, but really, that's just another way of looking at it as well. But yeah, that's basically it, guys, for this video. And as always, thank you for watching.